Every student has their favorite subject. For Wesley Mathias, science is king. I just really like things that fly in the air. I'm just really curious all the time. And I ask a lot of questions. It drives people crazy sometimes. These students at J.P. Ryan Elementary School are getting the chance to learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics the hands-on way. However, this is not a class. It's a club, the Ryan Rocketry Club. Last year, mm -hmm. I heard that it was a rocketry club, so I really wanted to join. So I asked my parents to sign up the form, and they said yes. And so I just came up after school and kind of like learned how to build a rocket. And this year I'm doing it again because it really means a lot to me that I get to be in a rocket club. I want to be a neurosurgeon when I grow up and I know that needs math and science mostly. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on science at home and in mm -hmm. here and it's really fun for me to experiment on different things and learn new things. This activity is open to all students, all ability levels, no criteria except the willingness and the desire to learn and to experience something new. STEM is everywhere. It's everything. Everything they touch, they have to understand that it's all around them. And you know, part of it is listening and being able to start something, put your mind to it, and get an end result. And being able to see the end result of all your hard work and your patience and your diligence. For four weeks beginning in mid-October, these students met after school every Friday to learn how to build a rocket. Students would get one kit each and attach the fins to the base. Next, each rocketeer attached these little pieces that look like straws to the base of the fins. The trickiest part comes when tying the strings of the parachute to the inside of the rocket's nose cone. Slide the parachute inside the rocket's base and put the nose cone on and you have a functioning rocket. For students, building the rocket was both exciting and educational. You have to listen, follow the instructions. The wings, they can't be too small. The fins, which are the wings, help the rocket fly in the air and then the parachute can come out. If you didn't have the nose cone, the parachute wouldn't be able to work and then you really wouldn't be able to fly because everything would fall out. You have to be very careful with your rockets or else you can break and you can't launch it. So I'm trying, I'm trying to be careful. And it's Southern the Ryan Rocketry Club got some assistance from several knowledgeable scientific professionals. WUSA TV meteorologist Erica Groh stopped by on November 7th to talk about the polar vortex and how that would affect their launch day. The Rocketry Club learned about the signs of how rockets launch from these gentlemen. They are engineers from Indian Head's Naval Service Warfare Center. They were excellent. Mr. K, Mr. Joe, Mr. Fuller, they, they were just astounding. They were very helpful. They'll tell you over and over again until you get it right. They were very patient people. These guys come out on their own time. They want to spend time with these kids. They want to introduce them to what they love, and they want them to be just as excited about their career and passions as they are. November 14th was the big day, launch day. Chilly temperatures could not bring down the excitement and enthusiasm of these students who were ready to see Rockets fly high. Three, two, one, I think launch day was amazing. Fantastic. Mine's a little pie and I couldn't find it. And uh, my friend's rocket broke. It was excellent. I was so surprised. I was really scared because I thought my rocket wasn't going to launch. Two, one. My rocket went up and then it, it didn't use its parachute, but it did a perfect landing. As you heard, launch day was successful. Every rocket shot off into the sky. More importantly, everyone involved with the Ryan Rocketry Club had a blast. The kids were so excited to see the end result, which was their rockets going up and the ability to see all their hard work pay off and have the opportunity to launch you know, what they made. Now they can see what real engineers do and what live professionals do. I think this was a great experience for me. I learned that you could do whatever you put your mind to. Oh,